Hello and welcome to vlog number 74. This week, at the request of YouTube user Thunderbolt Corporation, I'm going to talk about MRI guided focus ultrasound for Parkinson's disease. MRI guided focus ultrasound is a treatment for the motor symptoms of Parkinson's disease, which is currently entering the third phase of a clinical trial to determine the safety and effectiveness of this procedure for the treatment of tremor dominant Parkinson's disease. This is the final step before the FDA, the US Food and Drug Administration, will consider approving it as a non-surgical treatment for PD. Although the Exablate system, manufactured by Insitec, is approved in Europe for the treatment of tremor dominant Parkinson's. A previous study showed that there was a 62% improvement in upper limb tremors amongst those who received MRI guided focus ultrasound, compared with 22% in the control group who received a sham treatment. This procedure has been getting a lot of coverage recently, probably because it appears to do a very similar job to deep brain stimulation, DBS, but avoids the need for invasive surgery, doesn't require subsequent stimulator adjustments or surgeries to change batteries or replace broken wires, and doesn't carry the same risk of complications or infection. I know that a high proportion of people with Parkinson's who meet the criteria for DBS do not have the operation because of fears about the surgery. So the thought of gaining similar improvements without having to go under the knife would be very appealing to those patients. So, what is MRI guided focus ultrasound and how does it work? This technology works by focusing beams of ultrasonic sound energy very accurately on targets deep within the brain. Where the beams converge, a hotspot is created which destroys tissue responsible for the debilitating motor symptoms of PD. Symptoms that this procedure has been shown to improve include tremor, muscular rigidity, slowness of movement, bradykinesia, and involuntary movement, dyskinesia. Magnetic resonance imaging, MRI, allows the monitoring of the location and intensity of the target in real time, which is pretty important when you're making permanent changes to the brain. Neurosurgeons are able to confirm that they have targeted the correct area of the brain by briefly warming the target using lower powered ultrasound and getting feedback from the patient who remains awake throughout. Once confirmed, high powered ultrasound is used to raise the temperature of the target to a point where the tissue is destroyed. If you are thinking of having this treatment, there are a few things that you ought to consider. Like DBS, MRI guided focused ultrasound is not a cure for Parkinson's. It merely masks the symptoms. The procedure is FDA approved for essential trauma, but has not yet been approved in the US for PD. There are risks associated with it, similar to the risks of invasive procedures such as a thalamotomy or a pallidotomy. Focus ultrasound results in an ablation, a scarring or destruction of tissue, which is permanent and irreversible, and that would be my main concern. Even though DBS is invasive and comes with the risk of complications and infection, at least it can be adjusted to moderate its effects and side effects. And if it doesn't work, it can be removed. Also, focused ultrasound on both sides of the brain is not currently encouraged because of a high potential for side effects affecting cognition, speech and swallowing. This is a serious issue for Parkinson's patients who may initially have symptoms on only one side of the body but whose symptoms may become bilateral, affect both sides, as a result of disease progression. The most serious side effects reported during the studies performed to date were a mild numbness on one side of the body, which improved over time, and numbness of the face and finger, which didn't improve. Two participants also experienced partial weakness, which they recovered from, or which improved over time. Hopefully these issues will be addressed as the technology evolves and procedures are refined. Preclinical studies suggest that focused ultrasound has the potential to restore function in Parkinson's models. Ongoing studies are exploring the use of focused ultrasound to open the blood-brain barrier to improve the delivery of other therapies such as anti-alpha-synuclein antibodies, stem cells, genes, growth factors and other neuroprotective and or neurorestorative drugs. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or have a topic that you'd like me to cover in future vlogs, just leave me a message in the comments and I'll do my best to respond. 
Have a great week. See you next Friday.